The Arizona Cardinals are going on four straight wins into the bye week, and that makes us six and four. What's going on everybody welcome back into another video definitely do me a huge favor smack up that like button and subscribe for more arizona cardinals content on this channel we're covering the arizona cardinals throughout the entirety of the 2024 season so subscribe it up it's absolutely for free but ladies and gentlemen we got a lot to talk about here in this game the arizona cardinals came to state farm stadium in our own home and absolutely demolished and i mean demolished the new york jets now i don't know if you can tell but on this you know th this glass case here you can probably see the reflection of the game and uh it's still happening right now it's still happening we're six minutes left in the fourth quarter and the cardinals are right now dominating the new york jets right now it's 31 to 6 now you know aaron Rodgers and the new york jets are trying to obviously make this a game or put some garbage points up on the board and they probably will but man oh man oh man do not let this game whatever it comes out to be be in any indication that it was close it was not at all this arizona cardinal team defensive offensively as well as special teams this is the best complimentary football we've seen in a very very long time from the arizona cardinals this is the best we have seen them play and it's absolutely not even close like this is absolutely crazy kyla murray right now now please keep in mind there's still five minutes left in this game is 22 for 24, 266 yards and a touchdown. And I believe there was something floating around that he broke his record on the most consecutive passes or something like that. I believe it's like 17. So congratulations to Kyler Murray. He had himself an absolute magnificent game today. And I mean a magnificent game. Now, last week, what was really the staple point of what our offense was, was our run game, right? It's crazy because now we flipped on all the ear and now our passing game was that today. And that's exactly what you love to see, right? You need to attack this team week in and week out to, to their you know opposing weaknesses now it's crazy because I thought their opposing weakness and I'm talking about the Jets coming into this game was their their run game right we didn't lean on the run game very much now the most run it or the, the, the player that has the most running yards in this game right now is Trey Benson with 10 carries 62 yards James Conner I felt like was a lot more involved in the passing game than he was in the rushing game but he right now is 12 carries 33 yards and a touchdown Kyler Murray has two rushing touchdowns and he's got one passing touchdown he is oh my god this is like prime Kyler Murray like we haven't seen this Kyler Murray cons you know consistently in a very very long time and it's absolutely amazing to see now Trey uh Trey McBride can we talk about him right like one of the best freaking tight ends in the NFL and I don't care who has anything the one of the best one of the best right now, four receptions, 71 yards, and it's not even close. This guy has some absolute explosive plays, and he's just a reliable threat for the Cardinals. Now, let me be clear. Marvin Harrison Jr. didn't have a spectacular game. Marvin Harrison Jr. didn't have one of those games that you're going to write about and say, oh my God, the next Larry Fitzgerald. But Marvin Harrison Jr. had a very, very respectable game today. Five receptions, 54 yards, one touchdown as of right now. So, these are the type of games that you're going to want to see, right, in a consistent basis from this Arizona Cardinals offense. And uh, overall, there's really nothing to complain about. There really isn't. This was a beatdown from the start of the game to the end of the game. And as of right now, with four minutes left, the Cardinals have still not allowed a touchdown. Like, this team right here is different. I don't know how to even describe it. They're now starting to hit on all cylinders. If Kyler Murray can stay healthy, we can potentially win the West. We could potentially hit the playoffs. And obviously, we'll have to kind of wait and see how that shakes out what the playoffs look like. But this team could be very, very, very special. The way that we dominated against the Chicago Bears and now the Jets, where the Jets had, you know, their back up against the wall. And this was their season. This was their season. Right now, there's four minutes left. So I don't want to jump the gun, but this is the Jets season. If they lose this game, which training in the right direction that they're going to lose this game, they're going to drop to three and seven on the season. They're done. They're cooked. The Arizona Cardinals, if we finish this game out correctly, I get it. It's only four, it's four minutes left, but we're six and four. We're heading into the bye week with a four game winning streak. Unfortunately, the San Francisco 49ers ended up winning, but we got a Monday night football game uh, with the, uh, the Rams. Go Dolphins is all we can say. But as of right now, what a great win for the Cardinals heading into the bye week. Just everything worked out. Everything worked out in this game. Let's talk about the defense. We don't show them very much love, right? But they actually showed up really, really well today in this game. Buda Baker, 
Still, still doing it. To the day, right now, six tackles, three assists, one sack. Garrett uh, Williams, six sacks. I'm sorry, now, so I apologize. Six tackles, one assist. We did get a couple sacks in this game. Jesse Lucada got a game. I'm sorry, Jesse Lucada got a sack, um, and then Xavier Thomas got a sack as well. So we were providing pressure to Aaron Rodgers, but that Jets offense was very, very clunky. That Jets offense with Aaron Rodgers is not great at all. It's not a good offense. Like they are very, very unsynced, unorganized, and they seem to be pointing the fingers at each other, right? Devontae Adams, they went all in. Like they, this, this whole Jets organization went all in on offense in 2024 it didn't work it didn't work at all the cardinals went there took their candy from them and now they have still yet to provide a touchdown i think this this is more than six quarters more than six quarters that the arizona cardinals defense have not provided a um a touchdown on this defense you got to give love man this defense right now is showing to be pretty freaking darn good right now pretty good and we were just waiting for our offense to be consistent that's what we were waiting for guess what four wins in a row and now we're starting to see a back-to-back -back consistent game from our offense watch out that's all i gotta say watch out nfl because the arizona cardinals are coming they're coming oh they're coming i'm not used to this do i feel bad for jets fans a little bit but you know we, we were there the last two years we were there we were there so I don't really feel too bad, kind of a little bit, but not, not too much. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this game? Is there any negatives? Anything at all? Let me know in the comments below because I can't find a single one. I can't find a single thing to be negative about. Let me know in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate y'all for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and go Cardinals.